Hello again, it's uh, Manny from Garage Tech. Um, actually, I wanted to show you another problem that's pretty common, and actually it's one of our most common problems that people call us out, and it's really easy to fix, and you know, it's better if you know your system. Now, what I'm saying now is, is uh, like it works for all of the manufacturers, Liftmaster, Chamberlain, Craftsman, Genie, but in Craftsman, Chamberlain, uh, Craftsman, Chamberlain, and Liftmaster, it, then if, if, if the door is open, for example, and now I press the button, if you take a look, the engine is blinking, the door is not closing. Now you need to leave your finger on the button to close the door. If I, if I take my finger off, it jumps right back, and then, and then it blinks again. If I take a look, you see, the light blinks again. Also Liftmaster, also Craftsman, and also Chamberlain. If, the, if this, is happen, this happens, it means that something is wrong with your sensors. So just to show you, I did a, I'm gonna do a small tutorial about your sensors. Now, if you come after me, please, you'll see, I purposely, I'm purposely, I took off the sensor, but usually the sensor is not completely off. Usually the sensor is crooked or facing, you know, or usually it's crooked or the sensor is facing down or there's a leaf stuck on it. So that's usually the problem. And then we just come by and, you know, charge a service fee and there's nothing wrong just for coming out so that we could know you could know how it works. You see, now I connected it, and, and now they're facing each other now. In Craftsman, Chamberlain, and Liftmaster, it's the same system. There are two sensors. One is green, one has a green light, one has an orange light. Now, 90% of the times, it's the green sensor has the problem, because the whole system of the whole mechanism of the sensor is in the orange one, and the green sensor is only a reflecting mirror of the mechanism. So let me show you what I mean. For example, you see, if now I come to the green, the green one, you see the light is on. I put my hand on it. The light, the light on the sensor. You see now the light is on. I put my hand. I block it. The light turns off on the sensor. You see, every time I put my hand, the light because the green one doesn't receive the the signal from the other sensor. So, so that's basically why what's happened. This is a safety a safety mechanism. And since 1994, it's like every garage door in the United States needs to have this. That way if a child is standing here or a car is standing here, it won't close on you and it's gonna just stay in the air. So just as so you know, if your light is blinking, it works also for Chamberlain, also for Craftsman, and also for Liftmaster. It's very important you should know that like if the light is blinking, like if the door opens and it doesn't want to shut down and the engine is blinking, that means it's the, it's the sensors. Careful, so for example, now I put back I put, back, I put back the sensor, as you saw me doing. Okay, look now, now I'm gonna come and press the button. And you see, everything is working fine. But if you take a look, and now I'm gonna put my leg. I'm gonna go back out. So what happens is, every time you press the button and the light blinks, it means that something is bothering or bothering the signal between the sensors. But that's it, it's very simple. So next time, if it ever happens to you and the light blinks, it doesn't want to close, just you should know, that's probably the sensors and it's very easy to, to take care of it. That's it, thank you very much and uh, hopefully see you soon, thank you for watching.